Ah. Hello, everybody. It's Jules. Hello. Oh, as you can tell, our project for the day is Ronnie Rose U.S. Capitol. And we are on this overhanging tree area. Or you could say maybe it's aliens. Could be two people kissing. What is it, actually? I mean, I know it's tree, but it almost looks like it's something else. It's kind of funny. It's like big alien legs coming down. Maybe that's what it is. Who knows? Anyway, it's awesome, and I can't wait to get into it. So, I've been working on it some this week. Here we are. Oops. Stuck that a little bit underneath. And the birds are singing. That would be Sailor. Anyway, um, so I'm staring at the birds. So uh, this is as far as we've gotten, but did do some more since uh, I last showed you the project. So we filled in a bunch more here, got a little bit down here. Um, so we're just kind of filling stuff in. There's just a lot of stitching to do, um, a lot. This project is a lot of stitching. So... I was listening, there was an 80s, or 90s, 80s, 90s, whatever, I think it was 80s, um, radio station I was just listening to. The other reason I was listening to it is because, hold on a second, I gotta make sure I'm in the right spot here. Aha, aha, aha. Um, I like to turn it on for the birds sometimes. Sometimes when I'm a fiddle and the world is cold, I'm feeling cold, thinking of you. Um, all right, I'm gonna be all scatterbrained. I just woke up from a nap. It was glorious. I have the weekend off, but I haven't really hardly started on anything, and it's already like three o'clock. So it's like a typical weekend where I work, but it's all good. We uh, went to. Went out and ran some errands this morning. I went to one of the tattered cover bookstores here in um, Colorado, Denver area, which I've, I've heard before that it was like the largest privately owned bookstore. And I think that it is with reference to the original one, because the one I was in wasn't very big, but it's the closest one we have. And, um, I was looking for some different book ideas for audiobooks and such. And I was looking for some business type books and just some different things that I could just sort of see what's out there. And I was pretty disappointed because because of the fact that it's a smaller location and they, it's trying to be a little bit of everything for everybody. It just didn't have a lot of good detail. There's awesome detail if you wanted um, fiction or general nonfiction, but I was very specific with what I was looking for. So, but I did find a bunch of new, um, some new book authors that, um, like science fiction or young adult fantasy or things like that, that I could use and that would be cool. Baby, are you okay? Are you okay? You okay, baby? Got that song stuck in my head. That's not a bad song to have stuck in your head. But anyway, so we did that, and then while I was there, my husband ran over to his favorite bee supply store um, because we're going to have to find a hive mover. And a hive mover is basically like a um, specialized dolly. And we're going to have to move the hives because the... Um, guys that are doing the ranch would like to put the hives in a different location. Um, I think they want to do something with that, um, do something more with where the, the field that they're in right now, because they like to go in there and move animals in and out of different areas to kind of work the land and till up the grass and all that kind of good stuff. And so they, um, they've found a new place for us to have the hives. So we're hoping that we can do this in the next couple of weeks before the bee, the new bees come in. <laughs> new bees. I'm gonna crack myself up every time I make that joke. It's not really even a joke, it was, it was a real thing and then I laughed. But 
Anyway, so then um, we're going to do that. So that'll be not fun coming up at some point because we're going to have to do it at like at 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning before it gets sunrise and the bees get active because we don't want to do any with the, any of the bees out of the hive because if we do that, then those bees are a goner and everybody gets lost. So they're going to they're gonna be surprised. They're like, where the heck are we? Hopefully they'll be like, wow, we moved to a nice location, wherever it was, wherever it is. Oh, I lost my needle. Feeling your oats today, huh, little one? All right, I have to tie this one off here in a sec. Oh, 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 now you don't talk. Okay, now you talk. So, so we got all that done. Then we went out to eat this little rib, rib place, which was, eh, it was okay. And, um, came home and was changing into my comfy clothes, all excited to get the day started. And I was like, ah, I think I'll just test the bed. We got a new, um, we got a new bed topper. It's my back and my shoulders have been bugging me lately. And I think our, you know, instead of buying a new bed, we're like, well, let's just buy, let's try first buying a new mattress topper, like a foam topper. Let's try that. So I put the foam topper on before we left. Came back home and I was like, oh, let me just, let me just test it out. Yeah, I knew what I was doing. I was going to fall asleep. And I did. In my standard two hour nap later, I was. Oh, the only problem was I slept with a slight, there was a slight bulge in the, um, there was a, an area where there was something underneath of the foam topper or, or it was a wrinkle or something. So I slept with my hips like off centered. So we'll see if I start feeling that while we're doing this. Let me highlight here a little bit. Let me see what we got to do. All right. So we're working on this one. All right. Okay. 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 Oh, let's see how long the back holds out. Sorry, starting to tighten a little bit because that's just what I do. Need a little caffeine. A little stitcheroonie here. And away we go. Okay, okay. All right. <clears throat> Been getting a fair bit of stitching done. Thursday was a really great stitching day. I stitched on this one. I stitched on Old World Map 2. I stitched on baseball. I stitched on... Ooh, this morning I stitched on Boba Fett because I got some floss in the mail and... It was uh, a color that I really badly needed for Boba Fett. So I'm going to do a little bit more on Boba Fett, but he's seen some good progress this week. And so I'm pretty happy about that. Backstretch, backstretch. Um, cool. All right. For those of you who have not been on the Floss Tubes or the YouTubes, I put out a um, a little video the other day, and basically what it was was just an advertisement for the fact that I, kind of out of the blue, I put together a list of all the Floss Tubers I knew of. Well, that I could find on FlossTube during the three hours I was searching. Um, and put them on the blog, show everybody where you can find it, and asked for more help with, I know there's plenty out there that I don't know, that I haven't found. 
So give me your, lend, lend me your suggestions. And uh, it's pretty awesome. And I haven't looked today to see how many more um, suggestions and people and channels that were on there. Ah, I pulled it through again. But um, there are over 220 on the list now. There were a hundred. I, I did a hundred, and then everybody started tossing me other. And I'm like, it's just crazy because, I mean, I'll do searches. Like, hey, f hey, YouTube, show me other people who do floss tube videos, and or just show me cross stitching. And there's so many channels that have been around for a while that I've never even heard of because of, it just never popped in front of me. It is absolutely ridiculous just how, I mean, honestly, just how selective YouTube is in what they show you. There's so much more out there. Uh, I just can't, I can't fathom why they don't just, I don't know, have a better means of that. So, it's alphabetized, and, oh, man. Mm, it's a back. They're alphabetized, and uh, I also started putting little asterisks next to um, channels that had less than, say, a thousand subscribers, just so people would know that maybe those channels are pretty small or they're very new. But hey, check them out. There's a good chance you probably haven't seen them. And uh, so. What is your problem, Sailor Man? <laughs> Sailor thinks that I like to talk to hear myself speak. I'm not saying I don't, but he clearly does. He clearly likes to hear himself speak. Oh, are you offended? Are you offended by me saying that? No, it's the truth. Oh, boy. Anyway, so what else did I do? What else did I do? What else did I do? I didn't. Okay, I still gotta do some docs and yeah, there's still plenty of things to work on, but yeah, I got a lot done. I was very happy. I was very pleased. Oh, oh let me scoot my chair forward a little bit here. So I'm not leaning forward quite as much. It might help my back. Uh, so anyways, that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed looking at everybody and checking all these different channels out and subscribing to some new channels that I thought, well, maybe I might, I might like this. I'm going to check this out make sure I don't forget these people. And I still want to do the list in a different way. I still want to present it in a more compact, easier to see area, like a table form or something, but that's just going to take a lot of work. And for right now, I just want to focus on getting as many channels in as I can. And the other thing that I want to do is um, well, hello. The other thing I want to do is um, what's the word I'm looking for? Probably just a word. Um, create another page on the website, on the blog, that is <clears throat> about uh, techniques, types of, you know, tutorial things, basically. Some of mine, and then basically, mostly, everybody else's tutorials. So if someone's looking for, like, oh, I really want to learn this, then you got it there. So I think that would be fun. But so, yeah. That was my Thursday night, I think. And then I just did a quick silly little video and put it through it right up there and away we go. And away we go. I really like the Alien Ant Farm remake of that song. It's really good. It's more of a rocky, not rocky. It's more of a rock like. It's more rock like. Dum, 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 dum. 
Stitching, just, just this will probably be the most stitching I've gotten done on any project during a stitch with me since the inception of the stitch with me because it's Ronnie Rowe and I have a lot of stitching to do, just basic stuff right at the beginning. Not basic stuff, but oh, I still haven't finished the Ronnie Wa Rainy Water Replace page, that can be done. That can be done. Still haven't watched a single second of the basketball tournament. Just not feeling up for it. I don't really watch TV. We have to cancel our TV. We don't watch it. We got one of those when we first, um, when my husband first, after we got married, moved in. We signed a, you know, I, I hadn't gotten um, TV in a while, but we were, you know, since he was moving in, we're like, oh, let's sign up for new service. And we got really great internet, which is really all we want. It's great internet. And of course they throw in, you know, TV, blah, blah, blah. And, so, and we kind of enjoy it, you know, I mean, watch a little here, watch a little there, but um, it's not worth what we, what we pay for it. So we're gonna cut back. Cut back. Because all I watch is YouTube and a little bit of Twitch. And there's somebody out there that like hates that song and they're gonna they're plotting right now to kill me because I won't stop singing the song. Oops. I can't stop. It's like I can't stop dancing. Don't make me stop dancing. Oh, I got another joke for you guys. Hold on. Uh have you guys heard about the population in Ireland? It's Dublin. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. I know that was terrible. That's the kind of thing I like, though. I like terrible jokes. Well, not terrible jokes, just... We call them dad jokes. It's the kind of, well, it's the kind of jokes your dad would tell. Sorry, guys. And here I am, still singing it. We had a surprise little snowstorm last night. And when I say surprise, I mean, I had no clue we were gonna get any kind of precipitation. You can see the clouds moving in and it smelled like snow. And I gotta tell you that snow, snow has a smell, especially here in Colorado. It just, I think it just smells wet and you can smell it coming. And, and then when you do, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's a lot of fun when you can smell it coming, but I, I smelled it, but I'm like, it's not going to snow. It's not cold enough. It doesn't, you know, like, it just, I don't know. And it was a Friday night. It never snows on Friday night. So, you know, snowstorms are out having parties. They're not making snow. Nobody's working on a Friday night like that. Well, some people are, but not the snow. Not the snow. Hold on. Let me rearrange a few things here. Oh. Okay, let's see here. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. Mm. Oh. Okay. Must stitch correctly. Yes, you have an order. What's your order? What's your order? Ah, what else? What else? Oh, anyway, so yeah, it snowed like a couple inches. 
like out of the blue, it just was like poof. It was real fluffy light snow, but good for snowballs. We threw a few snowballs this morning. I finished a couple of audiobooks this week. I finished, I, re, I listened to the second Odd Thomas book. And one, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, what is it? Lock the front door? Knock, knock, lock the front door? I don't know. Um, Hold on, I'm just gonna make this, I'm gonna carve out this little space here. And there. And here, all right, very cool, very cool. Oh man, and um, what was that about, the snow? That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Oh, there was a little fire earlier this week out by, uh, not too far away from where we live. We could actually see, well, the snow was pretty close. We were freaking out. We were at the dog park. It was Wednesday night. And we had both come home a little early and then grabbed a couple of the dogs, went over to the dog park, and, um, We were coming back and we we're like, where's that smoke coming from? Because it, it was coming from our little neighborhood and it's just so, you know, it's it's hard to know exactly where it's at because the roads are not perfectly, you know, north, south, east, west kind of roads. But we were uh, we were freaking out because we we're like, is that by our house? Is that our house? Did I leave something on? Did you let a candle? No, I didn't let a candle. You know, that kind of thing. And we uh, thankfully, by the time, and it took us all the way to we got on our own street before we realized that it wasn't, but it was about about 10 houses down and it wasn't a house actually I thought it was a house because there's so much smoke um, but it was actually just a, like a brush fire that had started right next to this electrical little little tiny little electrical plant kind of thing so it was like seriously the four fire trucks and police and it was there were people everywhere yeah yeah, 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 Okay, we're going to do this. And then... Yeah. Chirp, 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 chirp. And then we're going to go down here so we can block out another place that's supposed to be not filled in. And then we'll be race, racing... For the rest of it, racing for the rest of it. Woohoo! Stuck in my head. Stuck in my head. <sighs> I tell you guys about the time that my neighbor's house burnt down. Like all the way down. He, um, it's the neighbor directly across from me across the street. And, um, it was like a, I was off that day was many years ago. I was off that day and I was hearing, I had headphones on, but after a while I was like, man, I'm hearing sirens coming off of clothes, like through my headphones. And I was in the kitchen kind of doing some stuff and I was like, it sounds like they're getting really close. And 
So I was like, let me just see, you know, let me just peek out the front door. And not that peeking out the front door can show you anything but the house across the street. But in this case, the house across the street was the one that was on fire. And it was like flames shooting up out of the roof. And it was, oh, it was already like well, well on its way by the time I saw it. Ran outside my bare feet. I think it was in my pajamas. And there was a person that was over there that... She uh, worked for the guy that owned the house, and so she was over there doing some stuff. But she had, she was in the back. She was actually like in the um, backyard when it started, and so she was able to kind of run around the side and get out front because the front door was completely. You might be able to get out of the garage, maybe, but it burned into the garage pretty quickly. Um, and here's the crazy part: in the end, the investigation found, and I'm not even kidding you about this. There was spontaneous combustion that caused the fire. And I know that sounds improbable, except for those of you who know what I'm going to say, and you're like, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, that happens. Um, sorry, you got to stretch. Oh, man. So spontaneous combustion. It's, uh, if you have the uh, multiple layers of landscaping material on top of each other, so there's, like, different layers of mulch or whatnot that's there, and say you had a good rain, and all of your mulch is um, basically, wow, well, almost lost it. All your mulch is, uh, you know, wet, but then the sun comes out and it beams down on that stuff, and so it dries out maybe the top layer. Well, then what happens is, is it superheats it, and then because of the fact that it's, and I'm not going to explain this in a very scientific way, but because the the ah, the bottom. Uh, or the center part is still wet, it um, heats it up so much that it literally just bursts into flames because it's sort of like a trapped heat in a wet environment, and it's just, I don't know. Anyway, it superheats it, bursts into flames, flames then rose up through the house, and thankfully nobody was hurt. No animals were hurt. Everybody was fine. It was scary. Am I even showing you guys the stitching? You're probably like, probably like a half halfway through this, and you haven't even been able to see anything. If that's the case, I apologize. Listen to this week. Mm. I know there was something else because I finished something right before I started listening to that Dean Coons book. Man, so it's something like that.
Jeez, what the heck are you guys doing? I'm sorry, guys. Hey, children of the corn. <laughs> because they both, like, I don't know what happened, but they both flew, and they flew up on the side of the cage right next to me. Scared me. Who got mad at who? Who got mad at whom, you mean? I think. I have no idea. Anyway. All right, children, settle down. I, and also, I have to say, I have done a wonderful job of keeping my crickets alive for the last, what, three weeks plus? It has been astounding. And there, I think there's a few that are dead, but most of them are still alive in there. And I, I have been giving some to... Well, let me cover this back up here. I have been giving some to uh, Carter, but my trick, at least for, like, saying give him water, is I just I put him inside of his uh, terrarium like the whole container instead of a terrarium, then when I turn on the um, the humidifier, then it causes water to form inside the crickets enclosure too. So then they get in moisture. And then I'm like every other day or every third day, I'm giving them like a little bit of vegetable or apple or something to nibble on. Gonna become a cricket keeper. Well, Just a stitching. Just a stitching. Let me look back behind you real quick and see what else we got going on here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, got a little bit more done Reaper. That's right. And try for some bears. I just got to find a couple things, of course. It's funny. It's like no matter how many projects I think, I'm like, wow, I've worked on so many projects. There's still so many more to go. So many more. I wish that, um, yeah, I wish YouTube did have a better search engine capability because it'd be cool to be like, I want to watch channels that feature this in the title and that have less than this many subscribers and that have been around for this many months or whatever, you know, and just get, like, everybody. Because I always, I'm like, every time I run into a channel and I, like, fall in love with it, I'm like, wow, how did I ever even find this channel? Um, I'm just like, you know, YouTube's holding these people back, man. Holding them back.
but we got like what two weeks left till the hockey playoffs start. Pretty sure, pretty sure. Blues are playing better. Avs are playing better. It's gonna be crazy wild. Oh, but it's not gonna be wild because no Minnesota. No Minnesota. Got something in my eyeball besides my eye. It shouldn't be there. So I think in about, I got to remember in about a month, which I'm never going to remember this, but hopefully I will, because we're just talking about the Dresden books and I'm waiting on this next one to be released. And I was like, you know, I need to make sure that I don't have just as long of a wait after the next book. So I think in a month I'll reserve it because then if there's like a four to say eight week interval, then I'll get it shortly after I've gotten the other book. And then I'll be able to, uh, where's my stuff? And then I'll be able to, uh, you know, not have quite so long of a wait, which I would appreciate. Because I listen to it fast, man. It'll be like two days, I swear. The last one was pretty fast. It's funny, it took me forever. I think it was book 13 or something like that. It was like, it took me like six times to get through. And I finally get through it, and I was like, oh, that's pretty good. And then I get into the next book, I'm like, oh my god, it's so good. Wishing that I had been doing this all along, but it's all right. Things happen when they're supposed to happen, right? Man, we messing everything up. I found my plaid shirt. I've left missing, I'm missing. I had been missing that. I had not found that for quite a while. It was in my closet and it was stuck behind a, another thing. And I was like, oh, I found my flannel just in time for spring. Soon we'll get into air conditioning weather, which is not terribly, you know, common where we're at, but I like for it to be cool, and I don't necessarily like to walk around in shorts, and it's weird to walk around in shorts, the older you get, at least for me. Sorry guys. Fargo, Fargo. I'm just going to shut the door. There we go. Close the door a fair bit. I should have a sign up on my whip board like so many days since my last cross stitch pattern purchase. <laughs> it would be funny. It's been a while. I think the last one I bought was the, the Tim's. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Boop, 
不不呀不呀不呀不不不呀不呀不呀。while I get this thing started because it wanted to go crazy. Oh. Do, 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 do. What am I doing here? My eyes are going crazy. I go crazy. Let's try it. Let me, let me do a little bit more here and see if I can salvage this situation. Do, 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 do. I think we're okay. Whew. That was close. Oh, my hip popping. Popping my hip. That's all that break dancing I did as a child. Yep. Did you guys hear that they might have break dancing in the Olympics? I'm kind of wondering how that's going to work. I mean, they do it everywhere. The beauty of it is that anybody can do it, except for most of us that are over the age of 40. But, they do rhythmic gymnastics. I mean, come on. Sorry for all those who like rhythmic gymnastics out there. I just don't get it. I don't get it. But, I saw that on the news somewhere. Somewhere, I think they're just looking for new sports that appeal to probably younger folks. This is because I don't think the Olympics do as well as they used to, ratings wise. Part of it just has to be the you know, the, I don't know. I thought the last ones were pretty decent. I watched a lot of cross country skiing, but I don't know. <laughs> well, you guys are being awful quiet now. highlight here for a second because that was a lot of stitching it's a lot of stitching but it's still just all you know you know it's a lot I've gotten done since last week I mean, I've easily doubled Easily doubled. I don't remember what next week's st stitching focus piece is. I don't. I just don't. Figure it out. What am I doing? Oh, I started over here. Bing, bing, bing. Hold on. I'm confusing myself. Okay. All right. Well, that's fine. I can start over here. That's cool. It's all good. It's all good. See. Hmm. I'm hooked on a new song. Uh-huh. 
Just a stitching. The beauty of the Ronnie Rowe design is that you never have to change colors. So it always seems like it goes faster because of that. Even though it doesn't, there's so much to stitch. So much to stitch, so much to stitch, so much to stitch, so much to stitch. Dave Matthews in there. Working up a sweat though, I tell you. Getting a little hot in here. It's the sawing action of this floss. Oh! Hold on. I'm going to take the flannel thing off and I guarantee you I'll be cold in three minutes. really excited about making some progress on that Boba Fett piece. So when I get done with this and I go downstairs and I start loading up the video and putting it all together, I'll probably work a bit more on Boba Fett while I'm doing all that. That would be good. Yeah. Oh. Let's see, we're gonna miss that one, right? Mm -hmm. Fight. Fight. Brilliant. Hmm. I uh have been I really messed that up. Well, I didn't really mess it up. I'll, I'll show you guys. Look at how I kind of, I don't know if you can see. I got some tangles and some different things. Some got, some got caught up in there. Um, so I finally chose... Uh, no, I won't talk about that yet. I'm going to wait. There's nothing to the station. It's more like just having fun. Oh, now you're going to talk, are you? You guys napping? Taking a nappy? I should have videoed the, um, to the two big, uh, King Kong parrotfish, because they were flirting last night. And by flirting, I mean they were, like, trying to kill each other at first. My husband had never seen their little mate and dance that they do. When they um, chase each other around and they bop into each other and they push each other around a little bit and then um, then they start coming at each other open mouth well they come at each other like just they're just they do this which they can't bite because they can't close their mouth or it's perpetually open so they just do this and so pretty confident we'll see some eggs here soon so how they usually do things but I should have recorded it I was just too tired to do it last night. Get my butt together.
All right. Ooh, so right. Ooh, so right. I'm pretty happy about this progress. And that's kind of, I mean, there's so much to do. I love it. Let me mark off a little bit more here. But boo boo. That's only like 200 stitches. I bet you guys got more done, way more done in this time. Oh, it's time for the yawn. Still waking up from the nap. So, let me show you. So we're still just this section right here. Yeah, still this. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of this, this section there. So yeah, that's good. I mean, this first page is going to basically just be all about this. And then when we get into the next page is when we'll finally get over here to the top of the capital, to the dome. The dome of the capital. Oh, my back says stop. My back says stop sitting in this chair. But I'm just looking at my projects. Did you throw that at me? Did you throw that at me? I thought he threw something at me. They're just being a little rambunctious today. R Rapscallion. Rapscallions. There you go. Easy for me to say. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that would explain it. I'm a dope. I'm a dopey dope 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 dope. So I was looking for the color chart for this thing, for it as well. And I'm like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And then finally I had this smart idea. <laughs> that's so typical. Oh, that's so Jules. That is so Jules. Silly girl. Um, yeah, so and that's probably where my... Mm, no, doesn't have it on the other side, but the... Anyway, I'm talking to myself here. What was that sound? I do not know. Um... So yeah, so we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm just looking at what I got here. What I need to do. What I need to see. What I need to do. Oh. I'm just looking outside at the people walking on the path out there. Having a good day. Getting out even though it snowed earlier. Oh my gosh, the snow all melted. Holy cow. I mean, I'm not surprised, but it's sad. We were hoping it would stick around a little longer. Oh well. We'll have more. Won't we, guys? Won't we, boys? Sailor? Yeah. Anyway, so thank you again for hanging out with me and stitching along with me. I appreciate it a great deal. Um, if you guys have uh, any other suggestions for, if you go check it, take a look at the list and there's any floss tubers that I have missed, because like I said, it's funny. I was like, I was finding channels. I was like 200 people in and I was finding channels that had like 8,000 subscribers. And I'm just like, whoa, like, how have I never heard of this person? And so, um, but anyway, so it's pretty cool. And, um, so yeah, help, yeah, help me out with that if you can. And, um, we're going to do an interlude video here. Uh, I'll probably do it tomorrow. I need to get it done tomorrow. And, um, between naps, I think. Wow, I am super sleepy still. Wow. Um, you guys have a great rest of your weekend and rest of your week. And I will talk to you really soon. And we're going to get so much done here. It's going to go fast once we get this part done. Um, when we start skipping across here, that's going to be fine. And then when we get through here, it's going to start being more difficult. It's going to be amazing because it's going to pop out of the thingy. So I got to go stitch some more on Bubba Fat and put this video on. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Have a good one. Take care.